everyone. It's Max. Uh, I'm a little late because the COVID vaccine knocked me out for a day. So I'm going to start with the sternoclavicle joint. And it's here, the clavicle meets the sternum. There. And shrugging is an example. Elevation is one uh, one movement you can do with that. There's also the, I apologize if I butcher the pronunciation, glenohumeral joint, which is the ball and socket joint in the shoulder. You've got the humerus, you've got the stacula, you've got a small bone, it's probably the scapula I found out, called the acuminor, I believe. And it's one of its job, things you can do is abduction with that. And you've got the humeral. <laughs> Well, if I'm not educating, I might as well be amusing with butchering these pronunciations. Um, <clears throat> Huner roll, Huner humeronal joint, which is just the shoulder. You got the humerus, got the ulna, got the radius. And it's right here, and it can be used for flexion. And then you've got the radiocarpal joint. And you've got in here the lunate, the triquental, the scaphoid. There's also the siaform, trapezial, capitulate, hamate in here. One example would be flexion. 